Hi everyone, so today we're going to take a look at array lists and we're going to fill them with strings. Okay, now array lists are similar to arrays, but you can do more with them. Um, so they computationally they cost a little bit more, but you can start an array list without knowing the actual size of it ahead of time, which is not possible with a regular array. So here we're going to start off, we're going to do a string. I'm going to call it string one is equal to one, two, three. And this is like the first row, say, of a CSV file. Okay, and we're going to do another string like this. String two is equal to four, five, and six. So I've got basically two strings, and they're filled with comma separated values. Um, basically, three different strings in each string basically is what we're dealing with here. So you can think of this as, as six individual elements, but really they're, they're combined into two different rows. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to create my array list. So I'm going to go var like this, and I can do that because I'm using Java 17 like that. So my array list is equal to new array list, and I'm going to make my array list of type string. And this is the funny thing. These angle brackets really mess me up. I like I find them very confusing, but they, they allow you to tell the, you the type of variable that's inside of your array list, okay? So I've got an array list called my array list. It's of type array list type string, okay? Now, I'm going to add those two other strings into the array list as elements 0 and 1 of the array list. So I'm going to go like this. I'm going to go my array list dot add string 1 like that. Then I'm going to go my array list.add, so the add method, string two, like that. And now I'm going to print it out. Let's, let's print it out and see what it is. So we go my array list like that. Not much more to it. And it printed out. There we go. We got all six elements, one, two, three, four, five, and six, printed out like that. But they're on the same row, like they're printed out that way. So let's let's print it out on two different rows. So we're going to go like this. We're going to go S out like that. Whoops. And S out like that. So we're going to print out my array list. And now I'm going to go and um, go get zero. So I'm going to get the zeroth row number zero. Okay, from my array list. So I'm going to do the same thing here. My array list, like that, dot. And you see there's all kinds of methods that can be applied here. Okay, so we've got add, we've got, which we've used before, and we've got uh, get. So we're going to get. All right, so we're going to get that right there, and we're going to run it. And we can see row one and row two. So it's possible to extract one row at a time like that. Now, uh, could we go more than that? Sure we could. We could go like this. We want to uh, break down each one of those rows and we want to grab, say, the third element in there. So I'm going to go like this, split. All right. So I'm going to go split. I'm going to split based on commas like that. And I'm going to ask for 0, 1, 2. So this is the third element right here. Okay, I'm going to do the same thing here. Dot split. I'm going to split based on commas. And then I'm going to access the array value, okay, inside of there. So I'm going to go like this. I'm going to go um, to, so row one, or the row zero, element two, so it's the third element. And then row one, and again, the third element, which is element number two. All right, and that should give me three and six. And there you go, three and six, it works.